Hello, I'm Simon from Gorilla Apps. In this video, I'm going to show you our latest app called Client Portal Builder for Monday.com. The app was recently released in the Monday Marketplace and can be used to create and manage client portals directly from within Monday.com. So the app is still in an early stage. So um, the goal of this video is to show you what it's currently capable of and where we will be heading with this app in the future. So first of all, um, for the app to work, you will need to create a board which contains all the clients that should be able to access your client portal. So in this case, I created a board with two clients, client A and client B. If you open up um, one of these clients, you will get a new tab here called Client Portal Builder. And here you can configure that specific client. And um, so you can define um, to which boards this client should have access to. And you can also define one or multiple login accounts um, of people who should be able to log in on behalf of that specific client. Um, so if we head over here to the client portal builder board view, this is where you manage like the client portal. Here you can define pages and um, you can for each page you can then define like certain sections. At the moment we support three different types of sections, text, which is basically a headline and um, a text field then embed, which can be used, for example, to embed a work form, and board table, um, this can be used to embed um, yeah, a Monday board into the client portal. So in the front end of the client portal, um, it looks like this in this case. So you see like the pages, links to all the pages show up on the left, in the left sidebar. And um, yeah, let's just quickly go through them. So on the second page marketing, we um, added a board section. And um, in this case, um, we referenced client A to the board client A here. And so this means like the board data of of that specific board shows up here. And um, here on the next page, um, we're also showing board data. In this case, um, it's, let's just quickly head over. It's like board data from this project's overview board. And here we created a connection between this board and like the client's board. And here we specify which item of this board should be visible to which client. So in this case, you see like um, these three items are visible to client A and these two are visible to client B. And therefore in this setup, we see like the three items here that are supposed to be visible to client A. And um, here, like on the on this page, we simply use an, an embed section to embed a Monday work form. All right. So let's go back to the client portal builder board view and check out the settings area. So here you can define a name for the client portal and um, you can define which Mon Monday user should be used um, as an integration user. So this is um, the user that is used to make a connection from the client portal um, yeah, to monday.com. It needs to give the app certain permissions um, for it to work and then all the communication um, goes through this integration user, basically. 
And um, so since the app is still quite early, um, um, we offer like an, a so-called extension service. Um, and how this works is that um, you can contact us and um, tell us which requirements you have like for the client portal and um, then um, we can basically make customizations to your client portal. This involves like different templates, other theme settings, new section types and stuff. And um, um, so this ba it's basically contract work. And um, once this contract work is done, you will get like an extension key from us, which you can paste in here. And this will unlock, un unlock your customizations on your client portal. So if it's something you're interested in, don't hesitate to, to book a demo call. And um, yeah, and an, another option is like to just wait a few more months and we will add more features to the client portal. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll tell more about that like in a, in a, in a minute or so. So um, yeah, th these are the general settings and then we have like some basic theme settings where you can um, adjust like some colors at the moment um, of the client portal, but we will also like, um, yeah, ex extend um, the options which we will have here in the near future. So, um, yes, yeah, speaking of the future, um, what um, we're planning next as um, some of the up upcoming features in the next months is um, first of all we want to enable you to um, host the client portal on a subdomain or like on a domain of your own so at the moment it's basically um, uh, a subdomain of clientportalbuilder.com but you will be able to um, yeah use your own domain in the soon future and Another thing we're working on is um, our own um, uh, formula uh, builder for form for form um, for formula, um, um, yeah, which then um, can be used to create um, a formula that is more integrated into the client portal um, compared to like the this embed work form option we have here at the moment. Um, what we also want to add is um, an item view where you can have options to, for example, um, where the client can chat with um, the portal owner and um, give abilities to update items and all kind of stuff. So this will be things that we are going to add like um, in the next months. So um, if you're curious, um, I would suggest that you check out the, if the app currently doesn't contain like everything you need, it's worth like checking it out like every few weeks or so. And then you will see like, um, uh, yeah, which new features are added. And um, yeah, so um, that's about it for now. Um, if you have any questions or any input or if you're interested in the customization service please don't hesitate and um, book a demo call we're always very interested in the use cases and um, it really helps us to um, push this app forward so thank you for watching and have a nice day